time in YouTube. Today I'm bringing you the first episode of the Noe X series featuring the new set Breakthrough. Today we are going to be looking over a deck made to uh, focus around Raikou with his Shining Body and Thunderlance abilities. So Shining Body is if this Pokemon has any electric energy attached to it, any, done, any damage done to this Pokemon by attacks is reduced by 20 which helps out a lot with its mediocre 120 base HP. Um, it also has Thunder Lance, which is like a variant from Trevenant EX and Keldeo EX, which is this attack does 20 more damage for each lightning energy attached to this Pokemon, plus 50 base power. Um, to help it out though, we're going to be using Magnezone, which is another card featured in the Breakthrough set, um, with Magnetic Circuit, as often as you like during your turn, before your attack, you may attach a lightning energy card from your hand to one of your Pokemon. Um, it has Thunder Blast, which does 100 damage uh, and forcing you to discard a lightning energy, but we're going to try and prompt not to use that. Um, we're going to be running a 2-2 line of the Octillery, uh, also from Breakthrough, which has a Bizzle Hand. Uh, once during your turn, you may draw cards until you have 5 cards in hand, so it helps you re-grab your hand back and everything. And we don't run at water energy in this deck, so unfortunately Hug is not going to be viable. Um, for the trainer support, we have three three battle compressors, two professor's letter to get that energy up, two rare candies to get Magnezone out quick, one switch, four ultra balls to seek out those Pokemon we need, four VS seekers, uh, two fishermen, which is our primary supporter. Uh, the battle compressors are used to get the lightning energy from the deck into the discard and Fisherman's supposed to bring it back into our hand to quickly place it back on a Raikou. Um, two Giovanni's schemes, this way we can either get our draw support or additional damage if necessary, one Lysander, two Birch, two Sycamore, one Skyla, one Wally, two Rough Seas to help out with that HP keeping our Raikou healthy, and three Hard Charm to make it even harder to one-shot our Raikou. Um, without f oh, and sorry, we also have 10 lightning energy. This way, we don't run out over the game. We still have the ability to professor's letter even after compressing or drawing up a bunch so that Raikou can get it going, or we can set up another one in case we see our first one about to go uh, to the knockout. Anyway, without further ado, let's get straight into a game. And our first opponent of the day is my Pokemon Kid using a water colorless deck. He's got the rest from Zek uh, she's got the rest from Zekrom coin. And we lost the coin flip. That's alright. Um, and they're going to play first. I've never seen those sleeves before. They're really neat. Anyway, um, we have to redraw. No basics in hand. We have a Remoraid start. This is not going to look very good at all. But uh, we, we could... Uh, you never know. We we can still come back from this. Never say never, right? Blastoise and Lugia. Well, once Raikou does come onto the bench, or one on once onto the field, we'll at least be uh, hoping to set up nicely. But without any supporters in hand to help us out here, we might be in a bit of a problem. He's birching a healing scarf onto the Lugia, help out with that HP. We get a VS Seeker, not helpful at all. Well, it is helpful. Um, I'm going to battle compress. Going to throw two lightning energy into the discard. And I'm going to go for a birch. That way we can at least try and regain our hand back a bit. And I'm simply going to be a seeker. Professor's birch. We're going to use said birch, and hopefully we can flip that heads to get us a nice, nope, nope, nope. And we're even in a worse spot. Remoraid seems to be our key player here. At least we'll get Octillery next turn, though he will have the ability to rapid spin us, which we don't have a problem with this. Uh, it'll switch into Lugia, but we don't have any energy drops. Uh-oh, Shaman and Lugia is coming. 
Winona is a par pretty powerful supporter now with all these really powerful base or er, colorless um, these colorless uh, EXs. So we're simply gonna go Octillery, Evolve. I'm gonna have to go for the Abyssal. Uh, you know what? Let's Ultra Ball. Get five cards back. So we'll simply use the Fisherman and the Magneton. And we're gonna grab. Do I wanna grab the Raikou or the Magnemite? Magnemite first, just because we have to get it out soon. So Magnemite's now on the bench. Abyssal Hand. Here we come. Five more cards. Raikou as well. That's not bad. We're gonna place that Hard Charm on Raikou. Um. Still got the ability to support, so I am going to use the draw five mechanic from Giovanni's scheme, hoping to get that. Uh, no, we got a lot of supporters now. Um, we're gonna have to end the turn. He's placing a third water drop, so he's gonna knock out artillery. Uh oh, or maybe not. He's gonna knock out Raikou here. Because we don't have an electric energy. Well, it's going to be at 20. Never mind. We're going to lose our IQ here. 120. Tails. 30 damage to himself. But we are really in a bad spot. Sending Octillery back into the active. Oh boy. Um, I don't like where we're at right now, because he can just easily Lysander us back out. We are in such a bad position. Um, I'm going to say we want a Birch. And again, Tails always happens that way. I, I don't know what to say. This, this deck isn't working today. I've never had a problem like this before. However, that, that is the TCG game. It, sometimes your deck is working, sometimes you're not. It's not always about your your skill. Octillery's going down. He's taking another 30, so he's we're, we're getting some damage off on it, even though it's not from us. But I can't see us winning this now, so I'm going to concede so we can get into our next game. Yes, we want to concede. And, uh, I will be back with another game. And our second game is against Blue Eyes 1996. They're getting a call. Are they going to win it? Are they going to win it? We don't know. They We won the coin flip, so I definitely suggest we're going to go first. Because getting that extra turn of setup is very nice. Now we've got the Raikus up. We can at least set start setting it up. Our opponent has no hand or er, no basics in hand, so we get to draw an additional card. We are going to easily just place up our Raikou. And we'll place the other Raikou just for good old sake. Prizes are drawn. Yes, we want to draw that additional card. You never know; it could be it could come in handy, which it actually did. So I'm going to play a hard charm on this Raikou. I'm going to play the electric energy so that we take less damage. And I want to get that Magnemite. So sacrificing our Ultra Ball and our Fisherman, and I'm going to grab the Magnemite gonna play it. Now I'm not gonna birch this turn simply because we could potentially get the uh, rare candy next turn and have Magnazone turn one. Though then I should have technically kept the fisherman but eh, who's counting. So he's gonna try there's a muscle band on the Cresselia. They're gonna try Moonlight Gain. There's a Giovanni Scheme. Seeing additional two cards. There's a Great Ball. Ghastly, uh oh, we're going to see the new Ghastly in this deck. He's playing it. 
And, uh, is he gonna pass the turn? Yes, they are. Alright, so we got another Magnemite. Um, I'm gonna play it, but unfortunately I do have to Burge. As much as I want to keep my Magna, Magna Zone in hand, I have no choice. We got the heads at least! Oh, and now we get the freaking, uh, rare candy. Um, I'm going to Energy Drop onto the Raikou. We are going to... I can't support her. Um, Hard Charm onto this Raikou so we can at least get it set up. I'm going to Professor's Letter so I don't... I know I'm not going to draw as many... Or my potential to grab another energy card isn't going to be that high next turn. And unfortunately I have to end the turn. No attacking from us. There's the energy drop, so we're going to see a 90 damage base, which is going to turn to 50. He's going to Professor's Letter, so two more energy going to his hand, her hand. Eva Soda, so they're going to grab either the Noivern in the deck or a Haunter. Haunter, it seems, is the choice. And we're going to hear that damage come out, and it's only 50, which is nice. Another hard charm. Really don't need them. So, we're going to drop the energy onto Raikou. Um, should I Wally? What, what supporters are in the discard? It's just a fisherman and a birch. If I Wally, I have to draw the other one. I think we are just going to birch. hoping to flip that coin for another seven cards otherwise we might be in a bit of trouble again but at least we can just start attacking now and that is tails so we got four cards we got the magna zone but uh... no rare candy <laughs> can't seem to get lucky with that um, we are going to go for the thunder lance which is going to do five uh, two four so it's going to do 110 which is going to knock out Cresselia. So we're going to actually get a prize card here. Magneton, so even if anything... It, worst comes to worst, we can at least get Magna zone in in two turns. So he's currently going to upgrade into the Gengar. Expecting us to uh, lose our... Er, sorry. Expecting us to take out the Noibat next turn. If we grab a Lysander, though, which we don't, we... Uh, we're going to start trying to set up a little bit here. Uh, I'm actually going to go for that, Lysander, because... Uh, hold on. I just want to check Gengar's HP. He's 130. Mm, I would have needed another energy drop, for sure. So... Should I grab the Wally? Well, it's not going to help us in hand. Lightning energy for sure. Lightning energy. Actually, Giovanni's scheme is the best way to go. No, because we still can't take out the... We're going to go with the Lys... I'm not inactive. We're going to take the Lysander. And... Uh... Whew! We're going to pull out that Gengar. Lysander out. And we're simply going to go for the Thunder Lands. We will get, if he gets that energy drop, we will be knocked off with the cross, uh, with the creep show. He's getting a Bridget, so three more basics. We are going to be playing a long game here. Unless he's grabbing an EX card, which he did. Grab the Gengar EX. Dark Energy onto the Gengar. So we are seeing Raikou go down now. It hurts to see him go, but unfortunately it did have to happen. 
We're going to place the other Raikou up. We got a Giovanni scheme, so I'm going to try and empty our hand as best as I can right now. Magnezone's going onto the field. And unfortunately, I have no choice. Giovanni scheme. Draw cards until we have five in hand. And... Kind of play Lightning Energy onto Raikou. But unfortunately, we're still in a bit of a problem. I'm going to have to end the turn. Couldn't kill the Gengar. Should have maybe taken out the Noibag, kept him from getting the uh, Noivern drop. Because now he's about to set up the uh, Gengar EX. Fan Club's coming in, so he's going to either see... Well, I don't know what basics we're going to see. We're going to see a Zorora and a Ghastly. You might have the new Zorork in there for some uh, switch initiative. And he's switching out into the uh, Dark Corridor. He's going to put three damage counters onto our Raikou. Which will give the addition, the other gas uh, Gengar the ability to uh, come in. All right, this is a whole hand of Sycamore. Hoping for some lightning energy. Um, I think our hand's trying to say it's not our game today. I'm going to start powering up the other Raikou because it's the only way we're going to claim the game here. Um. I'm going to set up the other Raikou. At least next turn, Octillery will come into play. We can get some Fisherman action off onto the new Raikou. It's it's going to be okay. But for now, we're going to have to switch up. They draw. We're going to see... What? Another Dark, dark Attack? No, he's going to go for the Dark Corridor now. Sorry, it was Night Attack we were talking about before. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned. Switch this Pokemon with one of your bench. So we're going to get poisoned here. And like I said, the Zoroark's going to come in. Dark Corridor. So we are now... It only take took 20, but we are poisoned. And he's going to switch out with this Gengar. So we're at 60, which is definitely not a good thing. We're going to play the Rough Seas get some HP back which is definitely necessary at this moment we're going to put the Remorade up this way we can or sorry the Octillery up this way we can empty our hand a little bit more um, I think I am simply going to retreat out of this Raikou into our new one that way our poison count is gone and we can shortly build his HP back up through rough seas. We're going to Fisherman, grab our four energy back, and uh, we might still have this game in the bag. Or not, maybe not in the bag, but... Oh! Apparently we do have it in the bag. Um, I don't think that was a, a fair representation, so we'll do one more. One more game. And uh, we'll see how it goes from there. And we are playing Got 151. We're going to get the coin flip. I'm going to go tails like we always do. And we lose it. That's all right. They're going to decide if they're going first or second. Sorry for the length of this video, but I think it wasn't fair to showcase the game the way it was going. One very failed attempt and then one kind of mediocre game. So let's see if this final game we can actually get it working properly. We got we got a Magnemite and a Remorade as our starting. He has no basics. I'll probably start with the Remorade because I don't want Magnemite going down. We want to get that card out as fast as we can. Choosing an active we're going to put out the Remorade and Magnemite for our bench. He's not playing any bench Pokemon but that is he does get first turn. So we, gr we did dr grab a Ultra Ball, and I might throw the, uh-oh, uh we're seeing a night potential Night March deck here. Okay, we gotta play a little quick. Um, I wanna grab, so first off, Battle Compress, get that out of the hand. 
Uh, grab three lightning energy. One, two, and three. All done. We are going to ultra ball away the uh, Giovanni scheme and the Lysander. And we are going to grab the Magnazone. So this way, at least turn two, we'll have Magnazone set up. And hopefully with the uh, uh, either the Sycamore or the next card draw, we'll get the Raikou, so I don't have to waste the electric energy. Sorry for that. We're seeing a Pikachu. Another electric energy onto uh, Joltik. Oh, we're not even seeing Nightmarch, we're seeing Galvantula. Uh, we're going to see Cobweb Trip. Switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with your opponent's active. I don't like this. We are now seeing... Whoops. We are now seeing our Magnemite confused and in the active position. Uh, let's, let's get another uh, Battle Compressor out. And we've sent quite a few energy to the discard, so I might start sending... A couple of the not necessary things as well. Gotta keep those fishermen in, just make sure. I probably won't need the Magneton, so I just get rid of that ASAP. We are going to put the rare candy down. Evolve into Magnazone, and unfortunately I will sack off the energy we have in play or er, in our hand. There's our Raikou that we were hoping for. Uh three of the Raikus we were hoping for. I'm going to play two of them for now. I will save the switch because Magnazone can take some hits before uh, before going off. Um, we're going to simply end the turn right now. Unfortunately, our energy drops, but we'll get the energy from Fisherman. And we'll start be, uh, we will start to be able to come back from this Galvantula. He's going to Electro Web us. Oh, we're seeing a Raichu as well. But which variant? Uh, this leaves can't retreat during your opponent's next turn. Well, I think Switch still goes through that. We are seeing the new Break Raichu. So unfortunately for him, we're not playing EXs, so his Thunderclap shot's not going to do us to him any good. Um, we're going to see a VS Seeker. We're going to Hard Switch. And we're going to put Raichu out. So, sorry, you're... Not able to retreat us? That's alright. Um, we are going to simply go for the Fisherman. Grab one, two, three, four lightning energies back. And we are simply going to play them all under IQ. Using Magnetic Circuit. There's one. There's two. There's three. Well, I guess that's four, sorry. And uh, we're just going to simply go for that Thunder Lance, getting rid of this annoying Galvantula. That's going to claim us our first prize of this game, an Ultra Ball. So we can go for that Octillery that we're still missing. Might get rid of those two Magnazones since our newfound partner should be on the bench for a little while. We're going to see a Professor Letter, but unfortunately if no basics come down, I do believe this Raichu isn't going to survive the turn. So this will be game for him. Is there a basic drop? He's getting a Fisherman, but I don't see him doing very much here. He's got tons of energy in hand, but not a whole lot of anything else going for him. And it is our turn. I am simply just going to go for the Thunder Lance, take out the Raichu, and we're going to call this a game. 130. We take the Remoride as a prize. Victory for us. Here's Raikou thunder lancing his way into victory. And here's hoping you guys enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed it, guys, please leave a like rating. Um, and definitely leave a comment letting me know what you like or dislike. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. As for me, time out.